another episode of Elisa's Eats and I don't know about you but I really would like some comfort food right now so I'm going to show you how to make microwave mac and cheese for one because sometimes you just need a little bit of comfort but you don't want to make too much of a mess and it's really simple, it's in the microwave, one mug, that's it. So these are the ingredients you're going to need to get started. So you're going to need about one third cup of pasta or about 30 grams, I'm using elbow macaroni, about half a cup of water or enough to cover your pasta fully in a mug. So this is optional but to make it extra creamy you can put about half to one teaspoon of butter, I've just got half a teaspoon of butter here, one eighth teaspoon of mustard powder and one eighth teaspoon of garlic powder. You can also just put a little pinch in there as well, it's just to add extra flavour. One tablespoon of milk, one third cup of cheddar cheese and then if you're feeling fancy, some parsley to top because fancy. So what you're going to do first is grab a mug. Now you want the mug to be quite big because the pasta will expand a little bit. Um, I'm using this one because it makes it look pretty. So you want your pasta to be fully submerged in water. So if that's not enough because your um, cup might be a bit wide, just add a little bit extra water. Don't worry if it's not exactly half a cup. It's okay. Don't spill it. Don't, Don't spill, spill it. it. Oh, I'm magic. I'm a wizard. Uh, what's that? You can't do any cooking without spilling. It's true. Is it really fun if you didn't make a mess? If I didn't make a mess, then I don't want to cook. <laughs> so my microwave is 1000 watts. So I'm going to put this in for two minutes on high and then stir it, then put it in the microwave for another minute until the pasta is completely cooked. It might take longer or less time in your microwave. Just check it out. It's mm. the end of all time. End of all time? Just the cooking time, not the end of the world. Oh. <laughs> now, see, this is what you don't want. You don't want it to overflow like that. That's oh, why you yeah. need a big mug. So stirring around my pasta, it's still quite undercooked. So I'm probably going to put it in for another minute, then bring it out again, and I'll show it to you again. Oh, <gasps> Yum. Okay, it's getting there. Just stir it around. Mine probably will need another minute. So, in total, mine will be cooking for about four minutes, I think. Okay, so my pasta is finished. It's about doubled in size. Now, mine doesn't have any liquid in it. The pasta absorbs it all. But if you have any excess water in here, just dump it out into the sink. So now we're going to add everything else. My pasta is probably right now a little bit al dente. It's really, it's soft, but it still has a little bit of shape to it and a little bit of hardness. Yeah, if you bite it, there's still a tiny weeny bit of a bite. I'm very like critical when it comes to microwave cooking. <laughs> We're going to add our milk, three quarters of a cup of cheese. If you like yours extra cheesy, add more cheese. If you like yours less cheesy, go away. <laughs> <laughs> and then what we got? Did I just, just wait a second? Oh, I spilt it. Mm. Flavia's my vacuum cleaner Thank today. You. Then we've got our spices. And now this is optional, just a little bit of butter. This gives it a little bit more creaminess. I really like it because yum. Because this is comfort food here, guys. And it's only a small mug full of it, so let's indulge because we deserve it once in a while, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm just gonna stir it all together, then microwave it for a minute, and then we're done. Make sure to keep all the cheese in there. Bye. Oh my god, it smells so good. Now, if you're feeling a little bit fancy, which I am today, I'm gonna put just a little bit of parsley on top. So guys, that's how you make my microwave mac and cheese in a mug for one. Um, it's a very quick, easy recipe, and it's really nice comfort food when you just want a little bit of a pick, cheesy pick-me-up, and it makes me feel good inside and warm and cheesy. Yeah. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy it. I love this. This is a quick thing. It only took about four or five minutes to make, and now you got yummy cheese mac. <laughs> and now you got yummy mac and cheese. Let's eat. <laughs> no, you got your mac. I actually made one myself because I know Flavia is obsessed with mac and cheese. Yeah. 
as you probably would not want to share. No, I, I really don't. So I basically just did the exact same thing again for me. Yay! Let's do this. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn! See, the thing is, you don't notice the garlic and the mustard powder in it, but it just enhances the cheesiness of it all. Does. And hence yourself, so you're more cheesy. So you're you more cheesy. You're a cheesy. Your mac and cheese is more cheesy. You're saucy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I love this. I love it. Have you ever had macaroni like in a microwave? I've never had it in a microwave. Do you like it? I do like it. <laughs> Success. As long as she likes it, then my world is complete. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.